What's up everybody, this is Tadpole Superhero, and today we are playing some more Disney Infinity 3.0. We're going to be heading back into the Twilight of the Republic playset, fighting some more battle droids, engaging in battle in the Clone Wars as Ahsoka Tano. So I will see you after the loading screen. Here we are, transporting into the world of Star Wars. So we're picking up right where we left off. We did this fight in the in the arena. Battled some battle droids and saved the day. Here we are, we're Our Ahsoka Tano again. The factory entrance. So let's Leave continue right where we, we left off proceed. and let's go. Let's get to Master Plo Koon. Once again, just trashing stuff for sparks. Always a good thing. Always a good plan. I was trying to remember if I have Ahsoka's force jump. I do not. That is too bad. All right, there he is. What's up, Flo? Our enemy is close. I can sense him. We need really? to find a way All right. that chasm before we can proceed. All right, let's do it. Indicates the direction. More tutorial stuff. Hooray! I love tutorial stuff. Rock slab bars your way. You'll need to remove it before you proceed. Use the force, Ahsoka. One step closer to our target. And then we have these cool ledges, so you can actually... Uh, we saw in the last episode you can hang from ledges, but you can also run left and right across them. Lots of cool platforming stuff. So this right here is a champion coin with Darth Maul's face on it. You have so there are only coin. certain characters Collect you can play in a place at, at the start of it. So this for this match. one, you can only start with Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, or Anakin. But then you have Darth Maul is a character who can join in if you get his champion coin. And then there are also characters from Star Wars Rebels who you can get their champion coins and then you can play as them. So, While shield droids can easily cool stuff. Your attacks, they are highly vulnerable to force powers. So we have shield droids now. Now, you saw me get rid of his shield with the force. Which is how you're supposed to play it. But you can also destroy the shields with regular attacks, which is great because otherwise, you know, any non Jedi character would be really out of luck. And of course, uh, there's the constant banter from the battle droids, which I just love. I, I love it so much. Slow mo finisher. Okay, now, oh, yeah, there's a button. The button to extend the bridge. There you go, Master Plo. Come on over, buddy. We're buddies, right? We're buddies, right? Program the door controls. Defend the bridge while I do so. Which they actually are, because Plo Koon is the, uh, the Jedi Master who brought Ahsoka, who found Ahsoka and brought her to the Jedi Stand so by. she could get trained. Hold off the battle droids while I influence the door mechanism. All right. I love fighting, and you love, you know, t doing doing stuff. Ha! <laughs> you can knock him off balance with my force powers. <laughs> He's running away! I love it. I, lo I love these guys. Oh my gosh. Freaking love this game. No! Don't hit me with your sword. My swords are better anyway. Alright, let's, let's juggle this guy. He asked for it. Oh, cool! Slow-mo air finisher. Oh no, super battle droids. I remember these guys were like super scary in episode 2. And then they were like really funny in episode 3. They totally changed super battle droids in episode 3. Which is just really great. No, no, run away! So these guys are actually really tough. We saw them in the tutorial intro. You know, the intro to Disney Infinity. And they were really easy. Yeah, that's not that's not how they are in the game. Oh, jeez. Let's get rid of this guy. So they take quite a few hits and they do quite a lot of damage. They cause a lot of knockback. But we took care of them because we're a Jedi. I mean, Jedi or Battle Droid, of course Jedi is going to win. I, I leveled up! I leveled up! Awesome! Alright, let's 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 get some stuff. 
Let's get some stuff. Let's quickly... Let's see if I can get her force jump. That'd be cool. Where is her force jump? Where is it? Does she not have... Oh, it's over here. Okay. So I need... Oh, I need three points. And I also got a new combo attack. So that's always cool. Force jump! Alright. Check that out. Now I can jump to real heights. Okay. So let's check out this spinning salvation move. Yeah, so I have an attack that I use with ZR, which is a dash attack. But then what I can do, now that I got the upgrade, I can hit X during my dash attack and do this ridiculously crazy spinning attack. Alright. So now, again, the reason we're here is because we need to go inside a droid factory and figure out who activated it. It's been reactivated. Hello. Let me inside, please. Thank you. Loading screen. I'll see you guys on the other side. Of a group of enemy units approaching. All right. Dispatch them quickly. Here we go. So my voice is a little, it's a little raspy today. Uh, I'm just a little, uh, feeling a little stuffed up. So I apologize for that. I don't know what's going on. That's how my voice is sometimes. Woohoo! So now, and we saw this in the opener. So, uh, in the tutorial intro we saw the doors that you can cut through, but you can also use different characters. If you don't have a Jedi, you can have you can use tech tech skills to hack the doors. So, there are always different ways to get through areas if you have, you know, a variety of characters to play as. Use the conveyor belts to access the factory core. So, like, several of the, uh... Well, I think just two of the... Well, one of the Rebels character Careful. characters is a, uh, a tech instant. character. Sabine Wren. Who's just... She's so cool. So, the Smashers and all this other stuff from the... The factory... You can see that's probably very that's very reminiscent of episode two. And we have these wonderful, wonderful little slots where you can use the force and get tons of sparkles. Tons of blue sparkles. So now this is sometimes sometimes you can't put your feet against the wall and run across the ledges. So different ledges have different different stuff. Oh, use the force, sorry. <laughs> Now I can jump up it. So see, that's one way that you can also uh, manage large crowds of enemies. If you're playing as a Jedi, you can use your force powers to kind of, you know, s stagger and knock other enemies off balance. So you can take on the enemies in small groups instead of... Watch your step. In instead of what? I lost my train of thought. <laughs> In small groups, instead of, you know, getting overwhelmed by a large army of enemies. Okay, here we go. This will be fun, right? That was actually really close. I'm surprised I didn't get chopped. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Gotta watch out. Gotta watch out. So let's use our force jump. Woohoo! Alright. So let's actually show destroying the shields with regular attacks. Because there are um, also regular shielded enemies and other... Because you also get enemies from, like, uh, the Avengers and Spider-Man and, and different Disney properties. It's like Brave and uh, Aladdin. So there are lots of different shielded enemies that you can run up against. So it isn't just Star Wars enemies. So, of course, you need to have some way to get past their shields if you don't have force powers so shields can be destroyed I really love the look of this factory it's just they've, they've really brought it to life Watch from the how it was in the movie <laughs> so that battle droid just got smashed trashed destroyed and that one's gonna fall off he's not paying attention bye bye <laughs> So one thing I've actually seen, uh, well I'll explain it after this fight, but it's something that I've seen other people playing this game do, and 
it's like they just kind of don't understand something. So I'm going to show you guys, give you a little little tip of what is what is possible in this game. Because I've seen a lot of people playing Disney Infinity who, uh, you know, they unlock a super jump with a character and then they think that that's their double jump, but it's actually not. Because if you tap B twice, then you double jump. The super jump is activated by holding the B button. So you can actually, you can use your different jumps when the situation calls for it. So, so just tapping the button. If you've unlocked a super jump in a character, then, you know, and you come up against a situation where you don't want to jump, where you don't want to super jump, then just tap the B button and you'll be fine. Tap the B button twice and you can still double jump even after you unlock a super jump. Because I've seen several Let's Players uh, playing Disney Infinity and, and unlocking a super jump and then... That's like the only way they jump and then they're like, wait, I can't, I haven't even seen them say, I can't double jump. And this isn't to like, you know, be mean to them. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, you know, if I'm just explaining something, cause I thought that too. I was like, wait, you really can't use your double jump. And then I tried it and I realized, yeah, you really can. So just understanding the situations and knowing when to use your super jumps and when to use your, your, uh, your double jumps is helpful because there are some situations where the jump is you know it's it's something where you really do need to use your super jump <laughs> I push him into the push him into the fire I was trying to do that ah! don't hit me please I'm innocent ah all right so yeah if you guys didn't catch that basically just if you want to if you want to do something <laughs> if you want to be able to double jump and you're like oh I should probably not get the super jump super jumps only if you hold the B button so don't worry about that you can do both that so you can also grind on rails it's like Sonic Adventure 2 one mistake and you will fall to your end pretty funny okay where do I go Oh, those those guys. Hey, thanks, buddy. Where are we going? Where are you taking me? Oh, just to a conveyor belt with death Watch traps. Thanks, rolls. buddy. So, of course, you don't want to get hit by the glowing red things. If it's red and glowing, it's not good for your health. Just a good good rule to live by in life. Okay, I can probably actually... Oh. Well, never mind. I can probably... Let me show you. Let me see. I can probably force jump this. Ah! Yes! So that's a way you can skip over stuff. So we can hear General Grievous yelling in the background. So he is probably the one behind activating this droid factory, right? It would seem that way. Beware the Magna Gods. They are oh, not the Magnet Guard, no! He's in super spin mode! And he's, he's trashing his own troops. Stop it! That's stuff to do, man! And I also have a special attack where I can throw my lightsabers. No, it really isn't fair, is it? <laughs> All right, spinster. So when you see them spinning like that, when they're done spinning, they get dizzy and they're wide open to attack unless they have a buddy defending them. They're using the buddy system now because they got a little bit smart. Sheesh. Sheesh. All right, this guy's almost done though. So I'll take a couple hits. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. So let's use that dash attack that we learned. Yeah. All right. You've earned a star. You can earn up to three stars. Yeah. So some missions have up to three stars. View your uh, it just depends. And I leveled up. Woohoo! Find him and bring him to justice. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you are. 
you're always ready to go. All right. Let's level up again. Let's see what we can get. I love doing the skill trees. It's just so much fun. Um, let's build up some melee skills. Okay, so a juggle combo. Whoa. So that's another delayed combo on the ground. Cool. All right, what do we have here? Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay. Does anything else cost one? Cause that's all I have left. No. Nope, all right. That's fine. So we're gonna stop here. Next time we will take on General Grievous in the next episode and kick his butt. It's gonna be fantastic. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Tadpole Superhero playing, uh, what have I been playing? Disney, Disney Infinity 3.0. I knew that. <laughs> this has been Tadpole Superhero playing Disney Infinity 3.0, the Twilight of the Republic Star Wars playset. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a lot of fun. Question of the day. Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite Star Wars character from either the prequel movies or the Clone Wars animated show? So who's your favorite character from that section of movies in the prequel era? Whether it's from the Clone Wars animated show or from the, uh, the prequel movies. Which I have to say, I love Anakin in the Clone Wars animated show. The voice actor does a much better job than Hayden Christensen. He just conveys so much more emotion and so much more depth to the character. And the character's written so much better. So you really care about Anakin and really understand the kind of tragic fall that he goes through. I love Anakin in the in the Clone Wars animated series. He's, I, I don't really like him in the movies. It, yeah, but he's great in the Rebels or the Clone Wars series. Uh, yeah. So let me know in the comments below. And guys, I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. And remember to always be fantastic.